Yes, I've got a bit of explaining to do. Um, been a bit busy, um, a bit distracted, so I haven't picked up the camera. But we have got a bit of progress done. Um, yeah, I don't excuse all that. That's going. That's just rubbish. We'll have a clear out. But we got rid of the engine out. The engine is out of the car. As you can see, we actually have it all out. So now the fun part begins really. Um, gonna try and clear everything up. Get the get it rid of the exhaust that can go. Um, I've got to work out how to get this and quite a bit of this. Get rid of it. Cause well I say get rid of it, hide it inside the car. Cause I wanna try and create a bit of space out here. I suppose now the fun really begins. Um, it was a bit of a pain really to get the old engine out. Um, just trying to fit the engine crane through the gate where the feet are so wide it doesn't fit through the gate so I've had to get the engine off stick it on an old uh, an old jack which was the completely worst thing to do but managed to get it in it was a pain in the backside but it's all there it's all good to go the engine really if anyone wants to buy it they can or just come and take it in fact don't even buy it come and take it get rid of it I don't want it um, if not, I'll wait for the old ring a ding mans to uh, drive around and see if they want to come and take it. But I guess now we've just got to crack on we're getting all this lot done. Uh, once I got rid of the exhaust, I will make a start on cleaning this lot up. I've given this lot all this side a bit of a wipe down already. As you can see, it's somewhat clean. Um, it's not tremendous. But I've got a few ideas to be able to hide a few things. I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff as well. Um because what I want to do is if I can try and box a lot of this in to make it look a little bit cleaner. Um and then what I'll do is I'll probably buy some of the gold foil tape and just foil tape that whole section, maybe even some of this, just because of the plans. I want to try and do some here as well. Um, I'll probably build a little box section to go there that can be used these the actual mounts here for the old um, Battery box. I'll use them just to be able to build like a flat section that goes over and hides a lot of the stuff in there Now I've got the engine out, as I've said multiple times. Um, I've already got rid of the aircon pipes. As you can see, the aircon normally runs along here behind the engine mount around the back. What I've done is I've cut them off here because what I want to try and do is, if I can, block these ends off. So at least then, because I'm not changing the radiator, I'm going to leave the radiator in there. But at least then, if I can, even if I can buy blanks for these or something just to make it look a bit cleaner. I know this is all crusty, but it is what it is. But now that's all out, I'll do a couple more bits in the engine bay. What I'll probably do is try and mock the engine up in the engine bay. Um, just so I can see that it all fits. I've got no worries with it, no qualms or any problems. And then what I'll do is I'll actually make a start on the back of the car. Um, I've got all the rear subframe and everything still. Or the new rear subframe, so I'll probably get that in. Um, although ideally I need to poly bush it all. I want to poly bush all the bushings and the front subframe's done. Only one I've got to do is this bad boy. Um, I found one online. Excuse all the stones again. I need to get all these out. I found a replacement one for that that is a full poly bush one. Um, so I need to get that out. The lower arms are done already, so I don't really need to change that. Um, it's just a, it's a very slow progress at the minute um, because I'm always sort of busy at the moment. I'm off. For a few days so I've got a lot of work done I've, well just yesterday I got the engine out um, got all the bay out everything's out of the engine now and then I can sort of start trying to how to work out how I'm going to do the get rid of the fuse box because ideally because of this is such a big uh, bit of kit I want to try and if I can 
possibly de-pin it. So once I de-pin it, I can then stick this lock through the hole up the back and I will then re-pin it inside. Um, I'll probably try and put it all behind the glove box. I might cut the back of the glove box out possibly and use that, at least then it's actually getting used. Because um, at the moment it just usually gets used for crap. So that's the plan. Get rid of a few unnecessary brackets. Maybe possibly extend looms here and there. This side I've sort of rerouted the loom. But now I'm sort of stuck for space. Because a lot of this doesn't quite reach. Well, it kind of does. I guess I, I guess that could work. I guess it's all very close. Um, but again, it's all very tight. So what I might do is, if I can, cut it, extend it an inch or two. Just so I can neaten it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Plus it also gives me a, uh, it's a big learning curve whole point of me doing this all myself to be honest is uh, just to give me that learning curve going to do something might as well learn it whilst you're doing it otherwise it kind of defeats the object really yeah you can see my original chassis notch that he's done properly um, I see a lot of chassis notches that are done very badly it's, it's actually welded on the inside here the whole way around, all the way around at all, and then it's also had some sealant put over the top of it. You get a lot of people that just sort of do the notch, but they don't do the inside, um, purely because of room, but you can do them. It is possible to weld it on the inside, as you can see, and it does perfectly. It seals it back up. So whilst I'm here, I'm actually thinking, possibly, um, I'm still toying with the idea, but maybe do like an ABS delete. That way I can get rid of the big old servo do it on a pedal box rather than doing it from the big old ABS stuff I can get rid of loads of stuff then um, but then again it's a lot of stuff that I've never done myself so it'll be a huge huge learning curve I don't know anything about any of that to be honest I don't really know what I'm doing in general we like half of this stuff which is good because we can both sort of learn together um, I'll be learning from friends people that have done stuff asking questions about this asking questions about that um, so if there's anything that I come across obviously you guys learn as well which is the best part it's the whole point of doing this on video is to, so I can learn and you can see the, the issues that I come across so we'll get there